This is episode 210 of the Gold Squadron Podcast. I'm your host, Dio Morales, and today I'm joined by Marcel. Second place is last place, Manzano. So did we end up in second or last? What are we tied for? We'll talk about it in a minute. <laughs> Will, why did I joust Roombas, Hagwood? Uh, they don't joust back. Come on. <laughs> Don't, don't you don't me. play the game with me. Come on back. And Ryan, just use blount instruments. Stanizuski. Correct. They're, the, they're better than the sharp pointy fang ones. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed. No, <laughs> ignore the 0.9% <laughs> chance that actually occurred. <laughs> well, um, if you don't know what we're talking about, you've probably been living under a rock or you haven't listened to our episodes for the last month and a half. Uh, last weekend or two days ago from when we're recording this, we had the gold squadron showdown live event here in the GSP studios. I got to see the beautiful faces of Will Ryan and Marcel in the GSP studios. They sat right here. They commentated on games. We played for your entertainment and those games are available to watch on Twitch right now. They'll be up on our YouTube channel, probably in about a week or two. But it was absolutely awesome. Um, and I think we start right here. We, we got to talk about it. The showdown. I think as somebody alluded to, our champion was Ryan Staniszewski. So we're going to give it up for him. All right? going to give it up for him. Going 3-0. and Going 3-0. and And the way the math worked out, that means that Marcel, me, and Will – all went only one and two. All righties. Yeah. We got, I got my, my booty still a little chapped. But can you, Brian, we got to talk about the Blount incident. The Blount incident. Please, please. I was like, I was, I fell asleep thinking to that the last two days. I'm like, what, how, and why? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the last game to me and Dion saw his Boba, Fen Rao, and Jakku Gunrunner with Protector Gleb versus my suite of four A wing four named A Wings, Blount, and AP5. And uh, it, there was a turn, I think second turn of engagement, where I blocked Fen, but Blount's maneuver got him just close enough to be range one. And I went, sorry, Blount, uh oh. And uh, Fen did pretty good damage. Got Blount down to one health, I believe. And then Blount shot back with no mods. With a friend at range one because, zero to range one, because Fen was blocked. So I was rolling four dice against Fen. You know, no mods. Fen's got Protectorate, extra dice. I'm like, maybe one damage, right? Fen's taking no damage. I roll hit, hit, crit, crit just natty hit hit crit crit and i think you rolled no evades because then you I, had the protector at one and you just on you just gladly didn't take double damage on any of the crits yep and we just sit there going what <laughs> <laughs> what even is this and someone in the chat did the math eventually and how that all played out was like a 0.9 percent chance that that would ever happen yeah because the other part was that also boba fett had a range one shot on to um onto blount as well if i'm remembering correctly and you boosted into it so you yeah. didn't have a focus so you had to use re-rolls and it didn't get you much unfortunately. i didn't get me anything you got me nothing not yeah so not only not only did you smack fan upside the head you didn't die which that's not how that was supposed to go nope, not at all <laughs> but i can 100 admit to that that's not how that works <laughs> Like I, I got blocked and was, I was like, I planned for this. This is I ain't, this is within the range of I, this. I'm okay with this. Turns out I wasn't okay with it. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> L L Lieutenant Blount showing his seasoned veterancy. That's why, he's the, that's why he's called the lieutenant. That's right. That's right. Will, what was your favorite game that you played this weekend? Uh, that I played? Yeah. Um... Uh, it was definitely had to be the Jedi, even though my, my Rick, uh, started great and uh, just never really came back to do anything meaningful. Um, I really like the Jedi squad, um, Ahsoka and Obi-Wan, 
and uh, my, the Jedi Knight with Chomper. Uh, they, uh, they just have so much flexibility. They're just a lot of fun to fly. And what about you, Marcel? Um, I, I I stepped out for a second. So did you and Ryan already go? I just want to know which ones you your, you guys were. You don't have to like explain the whole thing. Just oh, Dion just wanted wanted to have us go over the whole Blount Fen route incident. Yeah, okay, we, got it. We went over so we then... went over the incident. I asked Will what was his favorite game. What's your game? What was your favorite okay. game that you played? Um, I would like to say the only one that I won against you. Uh, I always appreciate playing you but honestly i i um man, that i i mean it, that game was just it just went sideways a little bit too early uh so it wasn't as fun because i think like the end result was already determined like early on the my the most fun game was against ryan that first game one because it's like the very first game that i that, that you play it's like you got the like early in the morning it's you know hyped up and also um I, you know being that I jousted with Von Reg and got Von Reg killed in one turn, <laughs> but that um, that was it was it actually added I think to the fun in that at, from that point on from for the like the next seventy out of the seventy five minutes I only had to worry about setting one dial and one dial with supernatural Kylo was actually a little bit of fun so it was it, it, it was like a puzzle you know even though. And and he survived, so that's 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 fun. On one health, but he was alive. <laughs> so that was probably my favorite. Alive is alive, no matter how you did it, right? Um, for me, honestly, that last game, even though it went sideways quickly in odd ways, it was one of those. I was like, this is to that degree of ridiculousness where it's hilarious. I'm like, all right, that's cool. Let, what do you do you just keep going <laughs> you just keep going and see what happens um yeah it was it was super fun i think just just being able to to put our hands on the ships and actually be able to to play in a competitive setting uh that that was my my favorite so again if you haven't watched those games go ahead and do it and one question i do have for our audience how was it for you guys watching in-person play, competitive in-person play versus TTS? Obviously, there's times where certain things are different pace, right? Some things are faster on TTS. Some things are faster in person. Namely, the faster thing in person is ro rolling the dice, right? I know it took an adjustment for me as a commentator to read the dice because they were, you know, you throw it and you just grab it when you're done, right? And I was like, wait, I gotta, I gotta be a little bit faster with that. Uh, but other things are obviously, you know, it's just different, but I, I'm, I'm curious, let us know if you're watching later on in the comments down below, or let us know in the chat. I'd, I'd love to know. Um, but today, today we're going to, we're going to, uh, do one other thing with the showdown. And that is that, um, as the winner, Ryan's going to be receiving the, um, gold squadron showdown belt. Okay, which we will reveal live and stream in a couple weeks when it comes. And he also, if you didn't remember, he also got the ability to give $500 to a charity of his choice that essentially all of the, the from the subs that you guys gave donations and all that. This is where some of that money is going is towards the champions uh, charity of choice. Ryan, take it away. Where are you giving it to and why? I guess. So <clears throat> I thought a little bit on this and I kind of wanted to go full circle with it. Um, if people may recall back at the end of 2020, they may have recalled uh, not only seeing uh, on stream, but potentially on Facebook, I had taken my long luscious locks of hair at the time and I had donated them to wigs for kids. And uh, obviously hair donations are an extremely big deal for them, but also because Wigs for Kids never charges the families uh, anything for the hair, for all of the products, services, and support for it, it is still helpful for them to have monetary donations. So that's why I wanted to kind of go full circle with it and provide a monetary donation for Wigs for Kids as well. 
Awesome. So uh, we'll be making that donation this week. We'll get it posted on the Discord, and uh, that that is a great cause, Ryan. Thank you for uh, for choosing it, and it's it's a fun way to have a little bit of stakes in uh, in it for for when we put on a competition like this. Now, of course, as soon as we finish the showdown, the question said, "When are you going to do it again?" And the the answer is we don't know. The biggest wild card is as Brian sneakily announced last week, he's going to be a papa, right? Uh, in the early December ish, somewhere around there. So um, ideally, we would do it. I think like every six months, but we're going to have to be flexible and figure out what is it that Ryan can do. Or worst comes to worst, Ryan sends in a, a substitute, and, and and you dub somebody. You say I choose you, and uh, you send somebody in your place though i would think that you would want to defend yourself but you could also buy an awesome fake beard and mustache for somebody and we can we can do a really good makeup job i think it'll be fine <laughs> no especially now that i'm the champion i feel like i need to be there to defend my title this is true this is true having a baby so that you get to be the champion longer strong strategy i i, I see what you did there <laughs> <laughs> well, today our podcast is brought to you by our GSP patrons. Becoming a patron makes you a part of the largest group of supporters that GSP has. Patrons have access to Patreon-only channels on our Discord, and depending on what level you are, you get different quarterly gifts. Some is a few, and the higher you go, the more you get. Our next wave of gifts features the Alphabet Squadron. If you want to get on that Alphabet Squadron, you need to become... A patron before June 28th so uh, make sure you jump on that you can go ahead and check those pictures out on patreon.com slash gold squadron all right now we're gonna talk about the XTC we've been you know we've, we have a lot of things here that we're, we're touching on here with gold squadron we got the galaxies champ galactic championships we had the showdown and uh, now Especially that it's around the corner. Let's talk XTC. If you don't know what the XTC is, it is uh, it stands for X Wing Team Championship. And from my perspective, and um, tell me if I'm wrong, guys. From my perspective, they uh, the, uh, the organizers essentially are kind of billing this as kind of like the Olympics of X Wing. Is kind of the feel of what it has. You know, there's teams from different countries, and uh, they're competing to be the best. It was in awesome experience when we went on the world tour in 2019 and we were able to uh to bring a u.s team to poland and play play in that this upcoming event of course is going to be online via tts and because of that we've been able we the organizers have been able to increase the accessibility of that tournament to a ton of teams how many teams is it up to do you guys know off the top of your head 38 38 38 teams with minimum of seven players per team. Most teams have nine players per team. So if you do the nine times 38, you're getting close to like 300 participants. That's, um, a, that's a lot of peeps. A lot of people. <laughs> awesome. So today what I want to do is maybe for some of our, our viewers that haven't um, that maybe just haven't heard about XTC or don't know what's going on or maybe you don't know the full format because I know one thing I had a hard time finding concrete evidence for not evidence but concrete information for was the exact format so I went out and I got the information and just breaking it down uh, so that we have all of the pieces so I'm going to bring up a picture uh, here. This is a screenshot uh, from the um, from the groupings that happened this uh, today, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, let's go ahead. Yeah. And, and, and for those who are bringing that up, mm -hmm. there is a website that um, Filippo put together. And it is, I think it might be even on the picture that's on the, um, yeah, it's the XTC dot space so you'll see that at the bottom so if you go to the xtc dot space you'll see the um everything there is to know uh, i don't know the only, it, can you go to the XTC i, I went to the, i went brother? to the website it actually doesn't have all the information on it which is why i had to oh I had to well, it has a lot Filippo. of the it, it has it has a lot but if you but, go on your phone it'll it definitely won't have it because it, it's uh uh Filippo is an amazing judge yeah, I'm not going to go on credit for being an amazing web developer. So it doesn't quite work on the phone. 
So go on your computer. We're going to go. All right. Well, here. Oh, my God. I'm getting a little irritated with this, this image here. Sorry, guys. For those of you who are watching live, trying to make this a little prettier for y'all. And we'll, we'll leave it there. Okay. So the, um, the way that the competition is sorted, there are, um, there's a ton of teams, right? And they get divided into, they got divided into five different groups. They have them labeled A, B, C, D, and E. Now, uh, for a quick rundown group, we'll, we'll talk about each group uh, individually because I actually want to talk about the teams. But essentially what's going to happen is within each group, and each of the groups are made up from uh, seven to eight different teams, is they're going to have a little round robin tournament within their own group. And after the eight weeks it takes in order to get through that round robin, they're going to take the top two teams in each group and do another set of round robin and that will determine who is the winner of the XTC now here's my question for you guys is you know there's there's five different groups let's take a quick inventory now you had something to say Marcel yeah I just want to provide the context so for people as I see before we get on here um just just wanted to provide a little history because we've talked about it but we never really provided some history so just for the people that that are here so the xtc is that is that okay no, sure just, just sure a little yeah. bit of context a little bit of history so the xtc used to be called the etc the european team championship until um it, it got expanded a little bit beyond europe and this has been going on for i think four years this would be like the fifth with um poland winning three of them uh spain winning one and i think the other one i forgot who it was it might have been um a british team that won one of them i was saying british because it may not have been england it may have been england or one of the other ones mm -hmm. but um essentially the way even before we get into the groups um the way that it was set up to set to do the groupings uh bartos who is well, the main organizer along with Filippo. Uh, there might be other people, but those are the main two. Uh, essentially, they took the top 10 teams of the past XCC. The, the top five teams were seed number one. The sixth through 10th team were seed number two. We were in sixth place, so we, we were in seed number two. And then they divided it up so that people don't play each other. So they had the South American teams uh the five south american teams set up in different in a different group in a different bucket then they had the oceanic teams in a different bucket uh the asian teams in a different bucket and then they had some a couple wild cards um basically people that like south south africa that you know teams that that were just you know, leftover. Let's call right. them leftovers. Yeah, you guys are leftovers. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> um, and then that's how. And then, and then it was set up uh, more like FIFA style, more like FIFA soccer style, where they they drew randomly and saying, okay, from seed one, you know, pull the first ball out of there, and it's Poland. So Poland, Poland is Group A. So they did that um, eight times. And that's how they arrived at which team. So if you're wondering how did the teams end up the way they did, it was completely by luck based on your uh, either seed one, seed two, or by your geographical location, making sure that there was a South American team represented in each group. Because, it, I mean, it would be terrible if uh, you, ha you had to have, like, Peru, Chile, Colombia, and you know, Brazil all playing each other. Like, hey, we right. play each other every week anyway. Uh, unless you're Group C, and we'll get to it, which is all the all the UK teams are, are in there, but that's a different story. Anyway, just wanted to provide that context. Yeah, of course, yeah, how, how they went about making the, making the groups. And I guess what I want to do here is I want to go through each group, and let's just talk about what do we know about the teams what because some of the some of the team members might be people that are are known in the x-wing community right like there's um you know th there are people all around the world who who play x-wing of course which is why we're able to do why they're able to do this event um but maybe sometimes you don't necessarily know where those people are from from if we do know them and i kind of want to talk about who we think is a favorite in each of the groups 
So, Will, who is in Group A? All right, Group A, that's going to be Poland, Brazil, Italy, Singapore, Norway, Greece, Malaysia, and the Czech Republic. Mm. All right. Now, uh, off the top of my head, from people that I know, uh, we know, of course, Do we, is Justin is Justin Pua playing for Singapore? Do we know? I can tell you in two in thirty <laughs> seconds. Keep talking, and I'll tell you. Well, because if you don't know who Justin is, he was one of our world champions. I'm just curious if he's playing. We know, of course, that uh, X Y X Y is a wonderful uh, wonderful X wing player out of Singapore. So you got to watch out for him. I believe is I believe he's playing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, X Y is the captain. X Y is the captain. All right, not surprised there. And man, of course, the Polish team is stacked is stacked absolutely stacked now now ryan looking at looking at this group of teams do you see a favorite coming out of it i mean i, th <clears throat> I think the uh sort of the obvious favorite i believe is the poland team now i'm not as familiar with the team championships as marcel and will are as they've had much more experience in the previous year i don't know if you guys did it the year before as well but um uh, there may be some, another team in there that might stand out that might be uh, a good second or dark horse, but I think Poland's the clear front runner in Group A, correct? Feels that way. Feels that way. Now, by, now, by, by a mile, I would say. If, if, a, if Poland does not end up in first, that's an upset. This, uh, they, 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 they made mistakes. All right, but so that, that is is that is that like uh you got is is that like a poll and you better show up or is that a challenge to all the other teams like you guys show up and see what you can do against Poland? No, that is a um uh imagine that is a a Team USA you're talking the Olympics. That is a Team USA dream team with Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson and 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 and, and the group going to play and uh, losing against Croatia, which has a good team, but you know, dream team Croatia. You know, just because Croatia has a good team doesn't mean the dream team should lose. Uh, so that that's the way I would put it. So I think the, the the separation in a couple of these, and and to your point earlier, Ryan, like I I have a little bit more, like I studied this. Uh, one of the things that people don't know, as far as being a team captain, uh, at least, is um i i study <laughs> this a little bit too much and uh for the it, it's a lot of work um it's not just uh showing up and and finding a team and, and putting it together but understanding what each team does each player does um so i do have a little bit more context so, and i'm curious to know what you guys are i don't want to like swing the table so i'd, I'd rather get your guys' take because you guys' take is 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 um more just like the um it's like the um, the the american look over over the pond you know mm -hmm. yeah, and that that's probably what I, the way i would say it or even just, just like, like the, the the average x-wingers that are exactly part well, of the this. average american x-wingers true yes that yeah the average american <laughs> x-wingers view because there are some players in brazil there's some players in peru that we don't hear a lot about because they don't speak English and they play in the in in, in the leagues down there because they speak Portuguese and, and whatnot. Same thing with with so there are some amazing players that we never heard about. Just like in the United States, especially when we didn't have online and we just had in person, there was those United States players there that were amazing. Uh, Dion, uh, what's his name? Um, Jerry, Jerry. Gold Squad and Jerry never yeah. traveled for X Wing. Nope. Amazing player. Like yep. that guy just had a a natural brain for X Wing, uh, but never never left the city. For no, no, yeah, he he. So, <laughs> so yeah, be so, glad. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, but, you know um, what? I, I kind of want to raise the stakes a little bit today. I just had a thought. Just had a thought. Here's here's complete. The guys though they don't know about this. I'm and this is literally right now coming to my mind. Let's go ahead and let's call some shots. Let us document. We can make a document here and let's call some shots on who we think 
comes out one and two in each of these groups. And we're going to write it down on this document right here. What do you guys think? You guys in? All right. Let, let's, let's make it go. Let's I'm make in. it go. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to take a look at the five groups that we have here and take our best guess with the knowledge that we have and try to guess not only who's going to come out on top of that group, but who we think is going to come in second. Because that means if you come in second, you have an opportunity to actually win the whole thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start with group A. And Ryan, we are starting with you. So I, I think the obvious choice is Poland's going to be one of the top two. I don't... I'm not calling it for sure to say they're going to be number one. If we only need two out of it, Poland's one of them. And then I think I flop back and forth. But I don't know enough about Brazil, but I do know some of the players from Singapore, and I do know some of the players from Italy. And I think I got to lean uh, probably to Italy more because I've... I, I know Marco is the captain... I've played him a couple games, both in person at Worlds events and online. He is consistently a sharp player, and if his skills can translate down to the players around him, I believe in Marco and Team Italy. All right, Will. Oof. Um, it's hard not to agree. Um... But I'm thinking I'm, I'm actually going to give runner-up uh, to this to Brazil. I think they got uh, enough uh, talent down there uh, to pull ahead. Uh, definitely number one is pull it. I mean, they, they've already won three. It's like uh, it's like not betting on Paul Heifer at Worlds, you know? Like, right. <laughs> Like just just on pure numbers, uh, they have uh, or um, what do I say probability. Mm -hmm. um, they have uh, a head start. They know how to win. So hard hard to deny that. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Brazil. All right. So for myself, I, um, I, I, I'm also on the team Poland train, but I am firmly going with team Singapore as my, as my second firmly team Singapore led by X, Y. We had a couple of other Singapore players do really well, uh, at Moncala and, uh, and are signed up for some of the upcoming, um, galactic championships. I think we're going to be seeing them make some more noise coming in the, in the following months. So I, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my GSP bucks on Singapore. All right, Marcel. Okay, so I think Poland's taking first place again. I don't. I. I. I honestly believe they're gonna go seven and zero in in this group round. Um. So we're gonna put Poland in first, and then. Um. Y you guys are not wrong with well. Ryan and Dion are not wrong with between Italy and Singapore. Much love for Brazil. I, I, I love my Brazilian um, friends down there. Uh, very good friends, but in, in, in all fairness, <laughs> but, they, but. they just can't. They, they just can't compete uh, with um, with with Poland, Italy, and Singapore. It's just um, they have some really great top players. And and uh, earlier on in um, Ali's cast, I think he put it best: is we remember the best players like. For example, South Africa, right? South Africa has an amazing player, but it's the depth. It's you. Got, you got to go seven deep. Who so do you, you got on the bench, baby? That's what you're saying. I, no, no, no. You know we're 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 dragging this out. We're gonna bring this out till two a.m. <laughs> um, so I just don't think Brazil has the depth. I think they have some really great players. I just don't think they have the depth. And same for Singapore. I think they have some amazing players. I just think they're gonna fail on the. Top. I don't think, man. Gonna, I think you are underestimating Team Singapore. You are underestimating I, I, them. No, I think they just don't have the depth. I think they have the top three, four play games, maybe. But when you get into five, six, seven, maybe not so much. So I'm going to go with Italy. 
uh, with Ryan on, on that one also. All right, all right. Let's... I'm gonna make some people angry on this one because I'm I'm gonna talk earnestly. I mean... <laughs> all honestly. right. So that means after taking a look at Group A, Norway, Greece, Malaysia, and Czech Republic snubbed by GSP. I mean that's the headline there. Just so you know. All right. <laughs> you know what though? If you want to take that as motivation, do it. We want to see it. That's right. That's right. We would lo we would love to be proven wrong. We would love to be cr proven wrong. All right. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Group B. Now in Group B, we have Germany, New Zealand, Iceland, Scotland, Ukraine, South Africa, Peru, and LTU. Is that Lithuania? That I'm not sure. LTU. Anybody help help out with LTU? Not sure what that I mean, is. I think Marcel will be able to answer, but he might have dropped for a second. Lithuania is the only country who is not listed anywhere else on this. So I'm going to have to okay, assume chat, it's chat Lithuania. Chat saying yes, Lithuania. It might be Lithuania and Latvia. I don't know if that makes sense. Well, well, we need Marcel, the savior, to come back. Marce Marcel had to go for a potty yeah. break. I just don't. I don't want to disrespect yeah, this test, team. Test, test. Yeah, we want to get it right. No, no. Oh, oh, okay. You guys hear me now? Yeah, we we, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah, your your mic is just is a little bit far away from your face. Oh. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Uh, Lithuania is in the tournament. And they're not anywhere else on this list, so. That's yeah. That I assume that's them then. All right, cool. There's Marcel. Hey, Marcel, just want to confirm. LTU yeah. is Lith Lithuania. Lithuania. All right. Okay. Cool. So Ryan, we start with you. Who? What two teams do you think are going to be coming out of Group B? In the XCC. So I, I think if I've heard correctly in the past, Germany has been another strong team in the past. So I'd have to at least, I don't know if they're going to be number one, um, but they've probably in the same realm of Poland. I've heard they've done well in previous previous XTC or ETCs at the time. So I'm going to have to say for sure, Germany's one of the two. After that, man, I feel like I'm throwing at a dartboard. Um <laughs> Not not because like I'm not like I'm not familiar. Well, yes, I'm not as familiar about these teams, but I don't know the depth that some of the players. Um, I know Marcel said like along with Brazil, Peru has some strong contenders. Uh, I assume Iceland, Scotland, one of those two might have some good showings. Ukraine, maybe. Uh, I'm uh, hold on. I'm going to look at a map real quick. I don't want to be uneducated about this. XTC encourages you to learn geography. Insert geography <laughs> course ad here or something. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to say Scotland. Just throwing that one out there. This, this is, this is uneducated. Haven't or. Un, not studied, ha, not part of XTC ever. Ryan saying Scotland, sure, part part of the overall uh, I, United Kingdom area, I believe. Don't yell at me about that. Yeah, it's U UK. Yeah, part of the United Kingdom, Scotland. I'll go with that one. All right. Well, what are you taking a look at? All right. I'm um, also going with Germany. Uh, with they have, uh, I was looking through the teams, and they got some pretty stacked uh, players right now. Uh, Catch Sasha Wagner, Timo Rob, uh, Fun Walk, uh, just to name a few uh, on their team. So they're going to be pretty good, I think. Um, those are uh, very consistent players and have been for years now. So definitely got to give them uh, that uh, spot. Um, but I'm going to take, uh, and not, not just because Greg said it, 
Uh, but I'm going to take Peru uh, as my second choice. Um, had a chance to watch a lot of Sebastian Nunez. Sebastian Nunez's games um, in the Premier League and also in uh, just the standard uh, Kyber, <laughs> the Kyber Premier League, as a note, uh, and also the Kyber uh, elimination matches. And he was bringing some uh, serious uh, skill and creative, uh, what do I want to say, flying, I guess, uh, to the table. Um, so if he can push his team um, or his teammates, uh, he's not a team captain, but it's his teammates uh, to that same uh, level of quality, uh, I think they could have a good run. Okay. For myself. Tio, to, clar to clarify, you have my R next to South Africa. I put down oh, Scotland. I'm sorry. I grabbed the wrong one. Corrected. Thank you. So for myself, I I'm going to go for an a bit of an upset in this group a bit of an upset so while while i have faith in team germany this is me going on a leap of faith okay i think the team germany is too easy to pick and i want to i want to go for the the uh i, I want to take some underdogs here but just a little bit first just like will you gotta go with the home of choosing violence okay if you didn't know Peru is the home of choosing violence. I'm going straight for Peru, okay? Straight for Peru, right out the gate. And then, this is this is where you like, oh, you drop it in Germany and you keep on going. You know, uh, Germany, not, uh, this is not, I'm not dogging you guys because I've seen you do so well. So well. Now, you, Mar Marcel and Will, you guys talked about that first half of the bench. Where's that second half of the bench been, though? The, the, the depth, right? We're talking about depth. I haven't seen them perform up to the same standard as the top half. I, to the same standard as the top half. Okay? So, um, it worries me a little bit. It worries me. Where, 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 where is that, that second half of the team going to be? Now, I don't know all the names. I don't have them in front of me. But I, those four names you mentioned, I have seen them play. And I'm, I would be afraid of them any day. But I'm going to take my shot in the dark. And I am going to go and put my faith in Team Iceland. All right. I'm going for Team Iceland right there. Uh, I believe it is led by Geasley. And um, you know what? I have faith that he's going to bring discipline and strength to his players. Team Iceland and Team Peru is where I'm All calling. Right. So, Dion, let me read this out to you, okay? This might... I mean, you can't change your mind anymore. You already said, but let me read this out to you, okay? I can edit anything into this podcast. Watch Thomas, me. <laughs> Thomas Cholte. Thomas Schulte, you know that name. I do know that name. Sasha Wagner, you know that name. I do know that name. Emo Rob, you know that name. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Dan Essie, you know that I, name. I, oh, you know oh, that name. ooh, okay, this is start. The bench is getting Fun deeper. Walk. Uh, he, you know I, that name. Continue. <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> and then Benedict Link, I actually don't know Benedict Link, but I'm pretty sure he's good. And then Enrico Coupe. You know ooh, that name. Oh, ooh. That is. I didn't Team realize Germany he was name. in the Germans. Oh, six, no. Six out of the seven players in Team Germany have been killing it all throughout the GSP events. All right, take it back. I six take it back. of the seven. <laughs> yeah. I take it back. And I take the it last back. Six Ukraine six don't make. I mean, uh, ooh, last Iceland six don't make me look like a dummy. They went eight and two. <laughs> <laughs> and tied for first place with Spain, and they just lost a tiebreaker at eight and two at the last sexy seat. It is ridiculous to think that these guys are not going to go seven and zero in this group. I'm gonna have faith. <laughs> Well, now that you read out the team, this is why I was saying I needed a list of all the team names that I don't got them. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but that team—I mean, that team name is scary. Just like that—that that, 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 that is a murderer's row for sure. That is a murderer's row. Oh God, that is uh, scary. All right, I kind of want to change my vote. <laughs> 
So I'm, I'm obviously, I'm going to go with you're Martin. You're the host. But... Do what you want. Do, yeah, do, do what, what you I want. want. But, uh, yeah, if, yeah. Hey, if you're allowed to change the vote, can I change the vote? Sure. You reminded me who was part of Iceland. I actually want to shift my vote from Scotland to Iceland. No, we're gonna get some angry emails. You reminded me, I'm like, wait, that's Thule Squadron. Oh, that is yeah. Beasley. That cool. is those boys mm-hmm. for sure. Yes, I. You know, I mean, I, 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 I'm, huh? I'm just, you know, that. Yes, I'll go for Team Ice. That, 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 that is a heart pick. All right. Well, yeah. well, then and I'm there gonna go, go with Germany first, Iceland second. All righty, Germany first, Iceland second. Yeah, make sure I have all the information next time before I make myself look like an idiot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I was thinking like... Well, what do you think I'm doing? I'm the one sitting here who's got zero information and is being reminded as part of things. I was like, oh, yeah, wait, Iceland's Thule Squatcher. How did I forget? Yeah, like Germany, I think, has the most uh, recognizable names. Well, let me say worldwide recognizable names. Yeah. Because I think the American players probably know the American team. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the American team... Is not well known in Europe or other places, but I think the German team, like you hear those names, they they're like, yeah. Who's the leader yeah. of New Zealand? Let me take a peek. I think it's they. I think they elected a woman. If that is that. Oh, you mean Abby? team captain? No, no, I was that was a political joke. All right. No, New Zealand. Yeah, uh, New Zealand. The captain is Blair Gray. Uh, oh, yeah. And I'm trying to see Matt Colay. Matt Matt Colay is a good player. That's Blair good. Gray. Uh, and I'm trying to see other names that I recognize. Cameron Dickey. I don't think I know. I've heard that name before. Cameron Dickey. Mm-hmm. Maybe Paul John. I don't recognize these names to be frank, but maybe okay. you Wait, the you because you've been Johnson? all over the world. No, 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 no. Okay, Paul I say Paul, Paul's got to be Australia. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, no, well, there, there we go. We got uh, we got our votes in there. Germany sweeps. Uh, it's a GSP call there, and then split between Iceland and Peru for second coming out. You guys are sleeping on Group Scotland. B. Yeah, I almost had. Them. Well, you didn't put you didn't put you didn't choose Scotland <laughs> either. You went well, Iceland. No, I, I think I, I think Iceland will go. But the reason is you guys got to remember, like um, like. The UK, Wales, Ireland, Scotland, like all of those are like right there and they're basically yeah, that's, the same that's player base. Why I was like, that's why originally I was like, yeah, I think I'll go Scotland because it's just part of the general UK itself. Yeah, yeah. And like we know those players are generally good. But then I was reminded Iceland yeah. with the Thule Squadron guys and I was just like, I'm going with my heart on this one. Yeah, going from, going from London to Scotland is like us going from us to Detroit. Like it's like literally just right around the corner. All right. Well, we're going to move on to Group C. And I will tell you, when I look at Group C, I see a, a a little bit more of an even group. A little bit more of an even squad here. No, Will's like, nah. Nah, I don't know. May, maybe. Maybe not. As we got Canada, England, Ireland, Philippines, Finland, Wales, Colombia, and Croatia. All righty. Ryan. Shots in the dark. Um, I'm gonna. So, Marcel, who is on Team Canada? I want the. I want the. If you have the name, Stu Manager, yeah. I because I'm definitely got, more familiar with Team Canada. I yeah, got it pulled up. Oh, you who, got it. Who the name? Who the yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Devin Monkhouse, uh, okay. who we've had on uh, our streams, mm-hmm. um, is running it. Uh, you have Andrew Oler, might recognize that name. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, Bohan Lee is another big name on there. Uh, uh, Stephen Kim, Cam Murray. Yeah, that guy well. sucks, though. Kalen Wong. I mean, oh, Kalen's just, playing too? Uh, he's a substitute, but I mean, that okay. means he'll play, you know, five, six weeks of it. Still. All right, just throw, throw my name on Team Canada. I've heard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I these, these are I mean, these are the recognizable like, are they names. Are bringing out the heavy hitters, or are some of the heavy hitters not in on the online play for this? Or no, they're they're representing that those are, those are good players. Um, and then I think, I think after that, it's I, so then I I think it comes down to England or finland probably i know finland players player base is pretty good but i think i gotta go with england 
Canada, England are my top two in Group C. Well, all right. Uh, I am also going Canada uh, for reasons. <laughs> I was convincing uh, Ryan up there. Uh, they, to me, have uh, well-known people who have been uh, not only good in person, uh, but have also be, uh, been proving themselves uh, most recently in online events as well. Uh, for my, I think, uh, no, I mean, there's some good teams in this one. This one's going to be, uh, every, like, Canada doesn't have, you know, the automatic win. But they're going to have to be, uh, uh, they'll be fighting uh, everybody for it. Uh, and my pick uh, for second um, on this one is going to be Columbia, because I'm trying, because <laughs> I'm uh, America all the way. I don't care if you're north or south, America <laughs> all the way, baby. Um, but also, they uh, they've I think got a pretty good team um, assembled as well. Uh, those guys, uh, I think we're uh, us as the world have been underestimating South American players. Um, and when they do show up, uh, they um, are good. <laughs> Turns out, very good. Uh, so yeah, Columbia as my number two there. All right. Um, I, I need to know who's on Team Finland. I need Finland. Uh, is good it, players is all I can tell you, but let me tell you right here. And, um, do you know? Do you know? I'll, I'll Netter. tell you right now. Hold on. No, no. So we got Team Finland is Marco Temlin, Sammy Peter, Battery over. You know him, mm -hmm. Sammy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see it. Sammy. Get a better last name. It's hard to pronounce. <laughs> Aku Engelblum. I don't know him. Rico Mainpa. I don't know how you say that. A M O Tamlin. M O N. Yeah, his brother. They're, they're good. And then Sammy Hanula and Johnny Ninavara. Good thing I don't live over there. I'm really glad you you're do accepted know to take all these names. Another country reasons. around the world. <laughs> yeah. names aren't gonna be yes, I know. I, I I am from another country, living in another country. So I, I get it, but I'm all glad right. I'm. Li yeah, it's weird. So uh, so yeah, if you know them, you know them. So I'm gonna, I'm going to start with I think is the more obvious one. I'm going to go Team England uh, to come out on top. You, you got the the world champion and his squad there. Um, I, I'm going to put it on Team England now. For my second one, I'm definitely tempted to go Team Canada, but I feel that pool of like, am I just doing that because I know I know the Canadian players better because we've seen them in person a lot more. Um, I think the one thing that tipped me to Canada was the fact that they have a high level of camaraderie. They always they do. show up as a team on a bus, always together. So I feel like they got good team chemistry too. I can't. I obviously I don't know about the other ones though. This they is could true. Have just good chemistry. Um, you know what? You know what? I I'm. Mm, I'm gonna go team Finland. I'm going Team Finland. I'm just going to leave it at that. Netter, I'm putting my faith in you and your <laughs> fam. Let's go. All right. This is a tough one. Um, I think England takes it uh, hands down. I don't think they go undefeated. I think they're going to lose two games. Um, so the uh, the bet that we talked about last week with uh, making the cut mm -hmm. with Ali got updated because of the way that the pairings ended up happening so now the bet was adjusted to if we make the cut if the united states makes a cut then i don't have to drink hot sauce but um ollie put his foot in his mouth and said he's gonna take it from making the cut because he feels that all these teams suck you know that he got an easy draw <laughs> wow. to if they go if they don't go undefeated so he put it on himself saying, like, if we don't go undefeated, I'm going to call that a loss. I'm going to say he's going to lose. I think they're going to end up 5-2, and two, but 5-2 and two will still be enough to get first place. So we're going to give England the 5-2, and two, but still drinking hot sauce. 
uh, on Ollie. I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm one of the other teams, I'm hearing that and saying, "Wait, whoa, 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 whoa." No, he whoa, whoa. literally. I mean, uh, the, the, William the was hearing it too, right? The, the, the didn't world. He, didn't champ. he put his he mouth was, on it? Yeah, he he spent uh, hours just talking smack about how he was gonna how Group C seven was even, no. wasn't even a decision. Yeah, seven and no. <laughs> he said, in his words, it was like it's seven and no. Ireland's gonna come in second. Canada might challenge, but it's gonna be seven and zero. Oh. Easy. England wise, easy. Canada, oh. Ireland, Philippines, Finland, Wales, Colombia, Croatia. Rise up, Croatia. let's go. Do you hear that? Do you yeah. hear the trash talk? What is this? Come on, come on. All we'll right, but anyway, called you out. So we're gonna go with England first at five and two. All right, got it. Seven and zero. Oh. And um, you know what? There's there's a strong leaning towards Ireland. Like I I don't agree with I don't disagree with him, but I gotta go with my Canadian folks, man. I mean they're, they're my peoples, so I'm gonna jump in the Canadian train as well. Um, I think Rathos will lose every match. <laughs> Sorry, Steve, <laughs> but the rest of the rest of the team will pick him up. So I think I think Canada will come in second. Well, there you go. Now. We get into Group D. This is a uh, th this was kind of important to us just a little bit. In Group D, we got the United States of America, Sweden, Spain, Malta, Australia, Chile, and Hungary. That there there are some stacked teams in this one. Not to mention the best looking team as well, if I do say so. You know, in my in my opinion, in my opinion. So the Spanish teams, by the way, that's what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> all right, Ryan, what you got? All right, so let's just get this out of the way real quick. Marcel, I need the rundown on Sweden and Australia. I don't know the names of most Spanish players, but I know they show up in XTC. Oh, every team in this this this, this um. I want to be confident, but if I'm being... When I'm, I might be ripping a Band-Aid here. In a uh, just... Yeah, don't worry. So, uh, okay, I... let's start with Spain. Let, let me give you all okay. the names. Sure. Let's start with Spain. So, um, Spain is a defending champion, and they came in second twice. So, they've been second, second, and champion. Wow. Okay, so just... So, the team is Jose Maria Ungaro. I don't know if you guys know him, but I know him. Antonio Vega, Andy Romero, David Lozano, Apollo Rodriguez, Marcelo Soto. Everybody knows Marcelo Soto, so everybody knows Marcelo Soto. Ander Lopez and Sergio Sanchez, and then um, a, a couple. So n names that you don't hear about in the United States, but I guarantee you that our European friends over there know exactly who each one of those players are. Uh, next is Sweden. You said you want to know Sweden. Mm -hmm. So, oh, God, the first name just scares me. Andreas Carlson. So it's Andreas Carlson. Uh, Archibald Zimonio. I actually never heard of him. No, he's good. Okay. He's good. The owner's heard of him. Nicholas he's good. God. <laughs> he's good. Everybody, everybody knows I've been Nicholas personally God. defeated by Nicholas God back in the last worlds. Yeah, jo Johan Hofberg. Verberg, uh, Michael Lundberg. I, I've heard of Michael Lundberg. Uh, Eric Ramers and Johan. This is, this is um, somebody. Christopher Bankston and Simon Engmill. You know, I can't pronounce any of these names, but I'm pretty sure they're good. You if they play with Nicholas and the, yeah, if they if they play with these guys, I'm pretty sure they're great. And then let's go and, to Australia. You yeah. guys know the Australian ones, though. I think the Australian ones are probably the more recognizable ones from the group. So it is um, Ben Lorking. Ben Lorking. Actor Khan. Yep. I don't, who doesn't know Actor Khan? Ben Doyle. Yup. Other Ben Doyle. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't know Ben Doyle? Nabi. Yup. Uh, is he flying? Oh, wait. Yeah, he's, fly, he's flying A wings. A wings. Okay. <laughs> if he wasn't flying A wings, I would say he sucks, but he's got A wings, so he's okay. <laughs> uh, Michael O'Connor. Michael Turner. 
and Brendan Morrissey. And Chris Walker. Actually, I don't know these people. Let's say no. no Brendan no Morrissey Johnson, is good. No, no, no Paul Johnson, no Fosses. You, uh, no, you they don't, they don't play. Well. Um, yeah, the Morgan Reed and the Fosses yeah. don't play online. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't forget Tom Harper. Uh, like I, yeah, yeah. He's oh, yeah, flying he is. Uh, he is. He's the cool. Rebels. Yeah, he's he the knows the stuff, man. Uh, him and, them, uh, yeah. um, oh my god, man, I'm, so, I'm forgetting it now, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of those names in Australia I'm, I'm familiar with, but like, and no Fosses, no Reed, no Paul Johnson. Oof. That's 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 a lot of uh, it's it's a lot of lost, uh, yeah, they're playing potential. Marvel Protocol, Kaiser Protocol. Ah, okay, so. All right, so just by history alone, Spain's one of them. Just sheer history, like it, it's hard to go against it. Marcel, are the name are the name most of the names familiar from previous years too, or are there some? No, there's a couple changes, but the thing is, when they went first, second, and second, mm -hmm. they always brought a different team. Jeez, okay. That just shows, that just shows <laughs> you how deep they are. <laughs> Another team that I'm actually surprised is not in here is Portugal, because Portugal is also really good. But um, anyway. All right, so after that, it's it, it's because it, me it's it's the four it's U.S., Sweden, Spain, Australia, and it, it's 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 going to be a meat grinder. I feel like besides Spain, probably taking most of their most of their victories, like a like a five two six one, right? Um, man, I... sorry, a lot of people don't even know who Team USA is, so they they were asking on this. Oh, because we we went through all the other teams, not all the other teams, but all the that's, other teams that's that are in Nicholas. contention, and that is a strike at Chile, Hungary, and Malta. Sorry, guys. Uh, so it's me, oh, shots fired. as captain, Matt Carey, Steve Cotillo, William Haywood, Ugh How, Carson Ray, and why am I under again? Uh, Daniel Leon, Tommy Adams, and Kenny Lyons. Um, Ooh, that's mm. so good. All right. We ain't ripping the bandit. That thing's staying on. Team USA, let's go. <laughs> I was it's also I was ready to say Australia, but they're missing a lot of names that I that at least I'm more familiar with, right? I'm, it's not that I don't believe that they can do well. Uh but and then Sweden, uh I know man, I am betting against Octagon and it's Octagon's like the, the highlight, I think, and a, Tom Harper, Nobby, a couple others, but Sween, Nicholas God, that's hard to that's hard to go against. But it's it's a depth, right? It's a depth. Let's go for it, USA. USA and Spain. Get it done. All right. Go ahead, Will. All right. Well, you know, you know we're putting it on USA. I mean, I ain't, I ain't coming in here thinking I'm not winning. <laughs> Put it down. Um, and you know what? I didn't know much about Malta until about two seconds ago. Um, I thought they were an island in the Pacific. No, that's uh, just outside of Italy. Uh, a lot smaller than what I thought. Interesting. We need to go to tournaments there in the old Malta. When you guys hosting tournaments, let us know. Uh <laughs> Uh, but actually, I'm not taking Malta. I'm taking, you know it, Chile, uh, USA all day. Uh, I think, man. Uh, yeah, Australia, yeah, Sweden, okay, sure. You got the big names. Um, but uh, the, us Americans, we're coming. We're coming for you guys. Look out. Should we just uh, put a W on anything that's North and South America? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's just picking that column. Uh, America. They, those Europeans tried to take out our entire hemisphere from being allowed in their tournament for years because Americas were too good. And we're coming for them this year. So I got back. I got to back my Americans here. Chile. All righty. So for myself, um, I, I got got to support the team. Got to support the team. USA. Uh, we got we got some heavy hitters. I'm excited to see how this goes. Now, 
my next vote goes to Spain. And now, let me explain why. Now, and this is why I think that they have come in either first or second in each of the XTCs. When I was there, they had the most, ex they study better than any other team in the XTC. I saw the spreadsheet that they had. Oh my, uh, when we were in 2019, they had it. They had these charts that had matchup to matchup for every single team versus every list possibility. And we're, we're just, they were just going for what's our best chances to win. And then on top of that, their players are pretty good too. So for that reason, because they study better than anybody else, I'm going with Team Spain. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a small caveat here. My dark horse in this one is actually Malta. It's my dark horse. Now, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. My dark horse is Malta because they have grown and they bas basically were born into the TTS times. Okay? They are children of TTS and of the COVID times. And because of that, that might give them a little bit of an edge. Dark horse. Just a, just a little just a little asterisk. Just a little like, I got my eye on you, Malta. Let's see. All right. <laughs> so um, we're going to uh, – you got to put USA, number one. <laughs> I've, I've been talking all that smack forever, <laughs> and I picked the team. So – Obviously, I picked the team because I think they're good, and I even if if any of our if any two players dropped, any two players dropped, I think the two substitutes are enough to still keep us number one. That that's that that's how I'm, that that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Um, but this is a rough team, and Dave. Man, Dave, you my dude, man. I, I love you, Dave. Malta is, is amazing. I want to visit. You know, Mediterranean. You know, awesome weather. Um, so I'll visit you and I'll uh, I'll say I love your city and I love your country, but uh, you guys cannot compete. You just can't compete. Hungary actually is is, is all right. Chile, my South American brother. Sorry, Chile, you can't compete. Um, Sweden, you know, I think, I think Sweden has a shot. I think Sweden's getting, uh, got slept on by some of the other people that were giving predictions earlier, but, um, well, I was ready to rip the bandit off and say Sweden instead of USA. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like Sweden is really good. No, I, I get it. Like Sweden is really good, but I'm going to say no, not Sweden. So it's between Spain and Australia. And I hear you with uh, Spain, like they like study, and and uh, and I'll even go one further, like you know, you know, they studied that, right? And they brought all those spreadsheets and all of this. When you had to make the choices, like right in the moment, you had like, um, you know, we were in person and we had to make those choices right in the moment. Now give them eight weeks to prepare for a week five, week six, week seven matchup. Oh God, like. <laughs> You take that preparation times 20. I think Poland prepares better, better than Spain, by the way. Uh, Poland is a little bit more calculated just because they hate losing more than anybody. Like Spain has a little bit of fun. They do a little bit of dancing. They do a little bit of drinking. You know, so, so, so Spain is a little more fun. Poland is a little bit more serious. So they probably prepare better than Spain. But um, I'm going to say all their preparation is not going to be able to overcome... Australia. I think Australia is going to just have the player skill, individual player skill that will overcome preparation. By the way, prepare better than skill. I think if you normally prepare, you're better off. But I think Australia is going to gonna pull it off. Uh, and I think Spain will be a defending champion that, that falls flat and doesn't make the cut. Wow. 
Yeah, they're going to be a, a um, what do they call that in baseball or in in basketball? It's, it's, like, up, yeah, yeah, it's an upset. Yeah, like the, when when the champion doesn't even make the cut. I think that's what's going to happen here. It's I called, think it's called sad. That's what it's called. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, how can I badmouth you now? Nobby, you can't badmouth me because I said you're going to beat Spain. So, Nobby. So, you're so, so, so you're go gonna beat come Spain. That, that's what you're saying. So, go beat Spain. Yeah, get them, get them away from us. <laughs> All right. Cool. Group E. We got the Netherlands, Mexico, Denmark, Serbia, France, Switzerland, and Japan. Ryan, up to you. Uh, this one, I, whew, man, like no idea, almost. <laughs> um, I, if anything, I'd want to know just uh, previous XTC. Any of these, any of these teams show up well in previous XTCs? Will um, Marcel? I do not know. Um, sorry, I was talking to Kayla. What? Uh, group D. Yeah. Or sorry, Group E, the final group. Uh, yeah. Which one? Do any of those have a particularly solid history in previous XTCs? Yeah. Yeah. So Group. Uh, e. Netherlands was seed number one. That means they made top five. The last one, um, France was seed number two, ma meaning they made top two. However, Servi Serbia has traditionally done well every single year. They've been consistent like every single year. Switzerland has some good players, but I don't know how much faith I got in them. Japan is an unknown commodity. Uh, and Denmark is in the center of, you know, you know, you know, when we were talking about proximity, like you can like drive a little bit or take oh, a yeah. train. Mm -hmm. like Denmark, Denmark is like the middle. Almost, Denmark can hit almost any event in Europe. Yeah. So they <laughs> proximity wise, they, they've got access to all of the amazing tournaments and they're competing against top players. So this is a really tough one, but. So as far I, as uh, history, Netherlands and France are traditionally the ones that have done the best. I already had Netherlands on, on my mind. I, I thought there were previously had some some solid players. So go ahead, throw throw my R on Netherlands. I believe they'll be a top two, and um, let's go let's go Serbia. I'll go Serbia. Let's let's do 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 Netherlands and Serbia for me. All right. Will. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to have to throw my hat in on the Netherlands. I uh, got uh, Fon Longen uh, running the team. He's got uh, uh, Water, <laughs> Wouter, um, and there, Niels Voss as well. Um, and if that's the standard of play uh, coming out of uh, the Netherlands, uh, they could go uh, pretty far. And. Take a guess who my next choice is going to be. Mexico. It is Mexico. How'd you know? <laughs> I'm rooting for you guys. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, let me, let me double check here. Uh, now I've uh, had a chance to play with uh, a lot of uh, players from Mexico uh, as they do... Um, commute up to the United States. I uh, do see AC Jaeger um, is one of their uh, subs. Uh, so when I know uh, or I have met personally and played against. Um, so if he's a, if he's just their sub, uh, I can only imagine what their, their true talents bring in um, when they can uh, get behind some specialized lists. So going Mexico. All righty. So um, I, I, I'm going to go for what I think is the uh, the favorite out there in Netherlands, just looking at some of those names. Um, now, man, this, this is also a tough group to parse because um, Serbia, Serbia, France, and Switzerland have all 
have all done really, really well uh, in in previous XTC events as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, both Serbia and Switzerland went, I think, they only one loss in the last XTC or something Wait, like what? that. They've they they they've they've placed Who? fairly well. Serbia and Switzerland. Uh, so just I don't I don't know them specifically, but last XCC there was two eight and two teams, which was uh, Spain and Germany tied with eight and two, mm -hmm. and then there was like five six and four teams, which was us and England and Poland and a bunch of other ones. So it was it was really together. So they may have been in there, but six and four is the best they could have done. Six and four. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I I am gonna go. I'm gonna go France. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put my faith in uh, in my French friends and, and see see what happens. G gonna go for it. All right, Marcel. You know, I'm, I'm hard to go against Netherlands because they're just so good. You know, you got Fon. Um, they've just got some really good players. Um, God, I, and I'm reading their list and I'm reading their names and they're really good. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're going to underperform. Oh, underperforming in Netherlands. They're going to underperform. I think they are the favorite and rightfully so. I think they have the best players and I think they have... I, I haven't seen everybody's list, but I've seen their list and their lists are pretty solid. I just think they're going to underperform. So I'm going to go with France. Okay. And then the second place should be, actually, if, you, if you're thinking about, like, who's the best, I, I would say Netherlands, France, Serbia, and then it, like, gets muddy after that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's Netherlands, France, and then after that it gets Serbia, and then, like, five, six, seven gets muddy. And Japan would be last, unfortunately. Sorry, Japan. But I'm going to go say France goes first, Netherlands underperforms, Mexico overperforms, and Mexico comes in second. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Now, before we read these down, I want to give each of us a one more vote. If there was... Out of all the ones that uh, th that are in there, you could choose any team out of group A, B, C, D, or E that you think also has a chance to possibly be a contender in their group, but you just didn't have that third vote. You only get one total, so we'll give you guys a uh, a second to choose. Now, when I when I look at this board, my my mind goes immediately to group D. Now that might simply be because that's where the U S is. And, um, that's what we know the most about. So I'm, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give a, give my, my, I don't know what we want to call this, but my additional letter, the dark horse, the dark horse. I, I'm going to go ahead and I, I have to give it to team Australia. I have to, I got to, you say Octacon, you say Tom Harper, not only are they really nice, but they'll also destroy you. I'm in. Team Australia gets my uh, gets my dark horse letter. Uh, go ahead and put my. Uh, it's not really dark horse because I almost almost uh, picked them. Put put my on on Sweden. Ooh, I'm also going Sweden. Uh, for mine out of all those guys uh, oh. Nicholas God and Christopher um, yep. I think could really elevate that team uh, could, should, could should, see should some good things from pick outside of the US Brad because I feel like this is just us like backtracking our own like, <laughs> you know, yeah really let's good. pick outside no, of the US because this is like like if we yeah. suck what? No. we ended up sucking <laughs> this is <how laughs> it's, it's like if we don't end up making it this is the other team we think is going to make it right yeah also I think because for me, it's an easy one, and I'll just say Netherlands. And well, yeah, that's also fair. Yeah, he was Marcel mentions really close to Netherlands, uh, picking. I think he was going to underperform, but I mean, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, think, I think we leave, I think some we good leave players. 
So right there, we have our prediction board. Right now, we think coming out of Group A, pretty strong feelings about Team Poland and Italy. Also, on our watch list, Brazil and Singapore. In Group B, favorite is Germany. Even coming out of there as well, Iceland and Peru. Group C, we have Canada and England, both favored with watchful eyes on both Team Finland and Colombia. Out of Group D, Team USA has our full faith. But we also got to take a watch on Sweden, Spain, and Australia with an honorable mention for Chile. And then finally, in Group E, the Netherlands are the favorite with a watchful eye on both Mexico and France and a call-out to keep to team serbia to see uh if if they if they can do it as well those are your xtc uh you yeah. are your video is not on did you did you drop he did drop for a sec but no that's fine i got you i got you yep i can fix it you had just said netherlands before you dropped and now we were just like like yeah you Probably, you know, probably will win. So I'm going to go with, take mine out and give me like a weird one. I'm going oh, to Oh, he's, he's going to go real dark horse. Well, I'm going to go so, someone that nobody has picked before. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go Wales. Okay. I think Wales has a shot. I think Wales might have an opportunity so i'm gonna go wales so take i'm gonna, uh, sorry fun uh you, you you guys are not gonna make the cut um we're gonna go wales <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh i'm not reading the whole thing down again just small adjustment Japan, wales, wales. Uh, don't, watch he, 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 don't watch the stream don't watch the stream he's already got his coverage <laughs> oh, okay not the stream got yeah <laughs> that's on a delay all right this <laughs> We've been doing this for how long? <laughs> What's the Dude, stream? like, are you expecting anything different by now? No. We've been doing this how long? <laughs> He's not long. He, he holds up the mirror. Yes, how long? <laughs> yes, how long has it been? And you should know this by now. <laughs> well. Do we want to put a, a, a big, big prediction? Say, who wins it all? Oh, man. Okay, how about this? How about this? To save us the grief, we can't say the United States. Sure. We can't say the United States because... Well, so, so we're choosing the runner-up. Who's, anyway. right, who's going right. to the, who's gonna get to the final with us? Right. Okay. We're, we're going to be the runner-up. We're, we're <laughs> doing the if not me, then who? That's what we're doing right now. If not me, then who? Ryan. Prediction winner for XTC here. We'll we'll put it in. Uh, I mean, we use our main two colors, so I guess we go we go white now. It's our sure. our other color. Go so, for it. I'm gonna go with the country of my name origin. It wouldn't be a Staniszewski without a homeland of Poland. Give me Poland. Staniszewski with Poland to win. The real terminology for my last name in Polish is Staniszewski. Got the Staniszewski stamp of approval. Staniszewski stamp of approval. All right. Will. Uh, I didn't think about it that, like that. Um, but... Uh, I was going to go for Germany, uh, which I didn't think about that. I am, uh, my name comes from German, uh, the Hogwoods. Um, but yeah, Germany's team is super stacked. Oh man, I wouldn't want to face any of those guys in Swiss, let alone in, as a team. Uh, so yeah, I'm... Hats off to Germany. I know they're not American, but <laughs> that's, that, Thanks, that's Captain Obvious. <laughs> I, I, just saying, just saying. They're American to me. <laughs> 
Okay. Is he, he's just digging a hole constantly. All right. <laughs> <We're> just... <laughs> Man, is it, it's my turn, isn't it? Okay. Um, You know what? I... I'm going to have to go with... I, oh man, I'm stuck between two. Marcel, do you know where you're going? You go. You go first. You go first. Okay, I'll go first. So, um, I'll, I'll go first, second, and third. So originally, I was gonna go Germany first, Poland second, England third. Now this is second place. That meaning Germany second place, Poland second, second place, <laughs> and England second, third, second, third, second place. Uh, after the United States, of course. Uh, but I'm going to actually flip flop that and I'm going to go with um, I, I trust Ali, current world champion, England. So I'm going to go. Um, they, they, I don't know about they. Ali's got a lot riding on the line. Because Ali put his, I th I'd say he is, uh, next to me, he is the person who put the most out on the line in terms of, like, smack talk and all that. And he's got a lot to prove. So he's going to do his homework. And if the United States doesn't win, I say England will take it home. Okay. Well, since you took since you took one of my two picks there, it it does narrow it down for me. Um, I am gonna go Team Germany to win as well. Team Germany to win. Um, after you read down that full roster, and now I know all those names, and I recognized every single one of those names. Wait, wait. We didn't read down the the British team though. Just, just keep that in mind. Give me the Brit. Give me the Brits. Give okay, it. Let me give you the British team. Show me the red coats. Let's cause, see them. Uh, because I get it. Like the German team is is, is scary AF. Mar but Marcel, let me ask you a question though. There's a lot of times where we've asked about the history. What is England and Britain's history in XTC? Is, uh, is it strong? Because it, and I know a lot of uh, events around the world. England's a big mm. name. They don't show up, right? Oh, they do. Oh, they do. Maybe let me let me I, read the names even before I, was I read it. Shot, but okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they do. <laughs> so it's Paul Owen. If you guys don't know Paul Owen, you might know him as Paul Fullon. Um, God, if anybody doesn't know this name, I don't know what Julian Hood. Julian Hood's a beast. Yes. Yeah, so, so Paul Fullon, Julian Hood, Tom Reed. Tom, no, no shade, no shade on Tom Reed, but Tom Reed hasn't been playing TTS. He hasn't, he, but it's still Tom well, Reed. Marcel, no, but, as Marcel, as a team, New England, what have they placed in previous XTCs? I, I have no idea. Oh, as oh, as as a place, I think they uh, as Wales, and I'm saying as Wales because uh, Ali used to be with the Wales team captain before he was the England team captain. They placed twice. They won once. I think two two second place and one first place also play. okay so they have shown up all right they're similar yeah uh so anyway so we've got paul full-on uh julian hood uh where is the oh, hold on let me go back because i lost it okay so paul full-on julian hood tom reed uh kester smith you guys gotta know kester kester's smith. good lloyd yeah. bowman i have no idea who that guy is but he's probably good uh ollie never heard of that guy he sucks I'm sure he sucks. Dom Flanagan. I know Dom. You guys know Dom. Uh, Tim King. I'm not Tim. Actually, Tim, Tim King, Swarm Player. Spud, okay. Spud Gun. Ashok Hemmings. I know Ashok. Ashok, Ashok is Ashok. good. Yeah. So they, they've got to. Okay. So they've got some really big names. I think Germany names are bigger. Give You know, take out Ali. Because, you know, Ali is Ali. Take out Ali. I think Germany names are bigger than England names. 
I think with uh, no 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 shade on the world champ. I'm gonna say even with Ali in there, I think uh, I think the Germany names are bigger names. But that's yeah. you know I think on an average, if you average them all out, I, I think yeah. it's edged out there. All right, I so think Germany takes the. I think name recognition wise, I think Germany takes the cake. All right, so right there to win, we got either Poland. We got two votes for Germany and one for England. Of course, assuming that's if something tragic happens to the United States. Of course. All right. <laughs> that that's if we all get like sick and like well, call don't put that call if you do want us right about now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is no, not the place. We're trying to get yeah, we're gonna, win. we're gonna win. We're gonna win. <laughs> like every everybody else is like, what if? This is right. It's it's fact versus what if all righty well i i think i i would tell you we're really excited for the xcc uh we are going to be having game xcc games live on uh gold squadron during our normal times we're essentially going to try to find uh xcc games that are happening during our normal streams so just just like you're expecting you don't have to look at some awkward time uh saturday mornings of course when there are not um an event going on a galaxy's event or something like that and our Wednesday nights. So my hope is that we can get some some more of those um, European games that are happening on Saturdays and then some more of the American games on Wednesdays. Yes. Never mind. I don't know how to count. Okay. <laughs> so when is uh when is th when does everything kick off, Marcel? This week. Uh so uh either Tuesday or Wednesday we'll have the actual official list so you can mm. see the list yeah as well when we give the list we'll also be giving the um like the the pairings in terms of like which week each one happens mm -hmm. but uh so that'll happen for seven or eight weeks and then in august it'll be the top 10. now as far as if you want to watch the stream the stream, if you go to, uh, well, uh, can you put the website up again? It it's thextc.space. Yeah, okay, thextc.space. So if you go to thextc.space, you'll, there's, um, there's going to be, if there not already is, a drop down section to see which matches are being played uh, on yeah. stream. And there will be, uh, again, Gold Squadron podcast will be doing the streams on there's a, and and if the you, uh, Club, and then every other streamer, um, based on their schedule, will be selecting and and coordinating with the players to get streams. So you're going to see a ton of um, matches. Um, no, I actually have a question for you guys. If if you guys got another like five minutes for sure for this topic, uh, and I'll and, and I'll go last, but I'm just curious from you guys in each one of these groups group a b c d e which is the team matchup that you are most interested in seeing if you if you had to stream it and watch it on stream like which matchup like you know for example usa against something on all of these match uh, on all of these what are, what is the matchup that you are most excited about i got i got it right away canada versus england Dang, I was gonna say the same thing. God, I, I, had to, I had to swoop in there like that. That one, that one is the one that goes. No, right there. I said in each group. In each. Group. Oh, in each group. Oh, okay. Each group. Oh. Well, I think uh, we're in agreement for Group C then. Yes, Group C: Canada, England. For me, yeah, Marcel, are you the same? If it sounds like with Dion, Will, and myself. Well, I got one for each group. So for Group yeah, C, same, I would for... say no. I would say in Group C, it's actually Canada and Ireland for me. Okay. Oh, you don't want to see. I, no, because I think Oliver. England. I, I honestly think England's going to run away with this. So I think uh, Canada and Ireland are going to be playing for second place. So I think that's going to be a meaningful matchup in that one. But so, what what team do you think is the best chance of giving England its its loss? Since Ali says they're going to sweep it. I think they're going to lose against Wales, and I think they're also going to lose against uh, Finland. I think Canada and Ireland will come in second, but I think England is going to sleep on Wales and Finland. 
All right. Well, let's uh, then going to group A. Uh, Will, we'll let you take the first bite of that apple. Group A. Matchup you're excited mm. about. Good question. Uh, I th it's hard to say. Uh, you know what? Let's take uh, Italy and Norway. Uh, I think Norway's got something to prove. Uh, and Italy's got to... Um, what do I want to say? Is going to have to fight for... Uh, that second place um, if they can't beat Poland they got to be able to beat everybody else and uh, uh, Norway is um, what do I want to say um, uh, a, a, uh, well I guess we called it Dark Horse Dark Horse is I guess the best way to describe it there Ryan? Uh, since I think Poland's the easy pick, I want to see who's vying for second. And I was between Italy and Singapore before, so that is the matchup I would want to see. All right. And then for myself, I want to see... Uh, I want to see Italy... Actually, sorry. I want to see Brazil versus Singapore. Brazil versus Singapore. I do like some of the players we have coming out of Brazil. And uh, and like I said, I put my, my faith in Team Singapore there, so I would love to see that. And Marcel, by the way, dropped out, so we will we'll catch up with him in a minute here. Uh, but we'll move on to Group B. Ryan? Uh, I was uh, considering another, you know, Germany, I think, is going to run away with that one. So I was originally had Scotland. I moved uh, to Iceland. I want to see those two face off. Scotland, Iceland. Will? Uh, I think these are, I think, I think each one of mine is going to be like the dark horses who I think it would be interesting to see them face off against each other. Uh, and that's going to be, uh, South Africa and, uh, New Zealand, um, both have good players, um, but not a full team that we know of. Um, so to see those, uh, um, not bench because obviously they're 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 like the starters or whatever. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, those two against each other. Will um, excuse me, um, blah, Marcel, uh, give us your T your Group A and Group B matchups that you're excited to see. So Group A, I would say it's Italy and Singapore. Uh, group B. I'm gonna go out and say I want to see Peru and South Africa because I think both of those are slept on. Well, you guys didn't sleep on William, <laughs> uh, but I think the world is sleeping on Peru, and I think South Africa might have a shot. All right, go ahead and double check your input when you have a second. Then when we have Group C, input is that like the. Uh, the microphone yeah yes yeah your, your, your source uh group c for myself there uh i think we we i had called out canada and england uh will did you have any other thoughts there uh no that's gonna be uh i think the the deciding matchup um so that's that's definitely gonna be like the the heavyweights uh duking it out so um yeah i that's where my my uh, I would be watching the most, right? I would just want to watch it to see if uh, the friends the friends up north in Canada can uh, can, can make Oliver eat some words. I can root for Canada for a little bit. That said, that that that's a uh, I want to root for someone specific matchup, not an intriguing one in my opinion. Still Mar intriguing, but yeah. <laughs> Marcel. All right. Is it, does this sound better? Much better. Okay. So I'm going to say Philippines and Colombia because I think um, Philippines and Colombia are going to be fighting to not be in eighth place. And it'll be, um, I think it'll be a fun match with very interesting lists 
Uh, so I think Philippines and Colombia. All right. Then we get into Group D, the USA bracket. Um, I really want to see Australia and Spain. I think that's going to be great. Um, Australia talks a good game, you know. They they're no they kind of they kind of like to build themselves as the villains, even though they're all actually really really nice guys, right? But they they you know they were all we're Australian and we're tough. So, uh, like I said, I, I got a lot of faith in this in the in the Spanish too. I got a lot of faith in this in the Spanish. So we'll we'll see. Marcel, I actually want to see Malta in the United States uh, because Malta talks a lot like they, they their smack talk is on, is second only to ours <laughs> uh, they, they smack talk more than 37 36 out of the teams on this so I want to see Malta with the USA and I want to see Malta lose seven matches go 0-7 <laughs> Um, so I'm ready to see Malta go 07 and they will not be within 20 points in MOV in any single matchup. They uh, are you, I, 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 you, I'm <laughs> guessing a couple a couple tables. They're going to get tabled a couple times. Okay. That that's some some strong some strong words. I mean, like the 7 and 0 wasn't strong enough. Marcel had to go start calling out MOVs. Okay. Tabled. <laughs> Ryan uh, I'd be interested in Sweden versus Australia. Two of the teams I did not pick, but were both very much on my radar as potential uh, top two in the group. Will? Uh, yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Sweden and Australia. Uh, they got some big names um, who can play X-Wing well. Um, so it'll come down to what their matches are. How, how can they get those good matchups? And then we move into Group E. Stay with it, Will. Group E. This is one is interesting. Um, and I'm gonna take. Let's let's go real. Let's go real dark horse. I want to see what Japan can bring, and I want to see what they can do against an experienced team like Serbia. It's a good call. Good call. Ryan? Uh, give me Denmark versus Switzerland. I want to see those two duke it out. Marcel? You know, I'm actually going to go Mexico against Japan because I've lived them both for the same amount of time. So I've spent about five years in each. I want to see which one comes out on top. And for myself, I want to see France versus Switzerland. France versus Switzerland. Uh, they got great players in, in Switzerland. I know none of us picked them, but uh, I think they could definitely uh, at least put up some good games versus France. Will they win? My vote says no, but it could happen. It could happen. So that is a, a rapid fire, even though it took two hours, but still compared to the amount of content that is actually here, if we wanted to go person by person, uh, that is a, a rapid fire XTC breakdown. We got the five groups. We'll end up finding out what the lists are. They'll be public. Probably in, uh, Marcel said in about a week and, and then we'll start seeing games put out there again if you want to see all the streamers that are that are part of it go to the xtc dot space and um the the organizers of this event have been doing an awesome job and I'm just happy that we get to help help out and, and stream some games and uh it's just always fun to be uh to be a part of a team right so if you have your opinion and you are watching later on on YouTube, let us know in the comments down below from each group. Who do you think's got it? Who do you think's got it? And who's your winner overall? Real quick in the chat on Twitch, I'd love to see who you think is going to win it overall. Ideally, we would do a poll, but I'm not typing out all these names. I'm sorry. Okay, just, just shout it out in the chat. Let us know who you think is going to be. Uh, list our public tomorrow, I think, says Lionheart. Um, I cannot confirm that. Will says yes, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. So, so I'm going to call it soon. List will be out soon. <laughs> soon and uh 
Nobby says easily Australia is his uh, New Zealand. We got some. See, I know we got some team members, some players in the chat. So of course they're going to uh, to call out for themselves. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting. Then how about this? If you are on an XTC team, pick a second place team. Then, alrighty. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out for uh, with us to this week. Uh, next week we're going to be doing a bit of a preview for Bespin. Bespin is our Australian leg of the Galactic Championship Series. The signups have been starting to increase. This is usually what would happen happens as we get close to the event. All of a sudden, people are like, "Oh yeah, there's an event!" Zoom and signups go up. <laughs> um, I think we are. What are we at right now? Let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Bespin. Best spin. We are at 51. There's plenty of space left, and uh, I, I will say historically the Australian ones are the least attended. But hey, if you want your chance at a Galactic Championship Battle of Alderaan invite, this might be your chance. This might be your chance. Now a reminder: remember, events are always Saturday, Sunday. But because it's in Australia, if you are on the American Hemisphere, that means it starts Friday night. And ends Saturday morning for you. All right, just a just a heads up. Cause hey, time zones exactly. Well, thank you for hanging out today. We love you. Hopefully, you enjoyed the GSP showdown because I know we enjoyed playing it. But again, games going up on YouTube. If you need anything, hit us up on Discord. Links are in the description down below, or type exclamation point Discord. We will see you on Wednesday with uh, gold squadron flight club will we have xcc games for wednesday i don't know if we'll have them that soon but we'll get them as soon as we can marcel says no he's shaking his head vigorously no it starts june first starts like june matches yeah okay so after june first we'll have there but we'll have some games going on uh this weekend and since we've been doing doing so much prep for uh for the showdown we're gonna open it back up and go back to our legacy format of having it be community matchups let's get you guys on the table we'll do some commentary and uh and get get that community rivalries going hey maybe we can get some xcc scrimmage matches or something like that or you know what maybe we should get team usa doing some training on Wednesday how about that yeah let's do that let's go time to pump some iron spin the dials but not illegally in the legal planning phase <laughs> when you're supposed to all right <laughs> thanks for watching stay smart stay safe gold squadron out